hi and welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna be a bit different well when i say different it's not really it's kind of like a first impressions and just a normal makeup tutorial kind of smashed into one because there is three things that i'm kind of first reviewing which is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. I've just purchased this and it looks absolutely amazing and it is actually really, really nice. Um, I'm also going to be doing this. This is the Damn Girl Mascara by Too Faced. Trying this. And also I will be trying the new Morphe um, Glam Bronze uh, Bronzer and it looks like this. And people say it's just like the um, Omega by um, Marc Jacobs. And I will be testing this out as well, which is the Wet n Wild um, foundation. And this has been out for ages, but I just, I got, had it ages ago and I haven't reviewed it yet. So I thought I would use it in this video. Um, if you like this makeup look and want to see how I achieved it, carry on watching. Hi, um, today's video is just gonna be a mixture of first impressions and just a basic makeup tutorial. When I say basic, it's not gonna be that basic because I will be using the blood sugar palette that I just got. Um, I just wanted to try out some new products that I've purchased over the last two months. I haven't really been filming, so I've not had a chance to like test them out before I go out. So this was like the perfect opportunity for me. Just to let you know, some of the shades might not match me because I'm not fake tan at the moment and some, like, one of the foundation, like, the foundation is for when I tan. So we'll just dive in right now. So, I'm gonna start with my face, which is probably something I'll regret. But I'm just gonna start because if it goes wrong, at least I can just wet, wash it off, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going out anywhere, so... So I'm just gonna go in with my Photo Finish Smashbox Primer. And I do really like this. I just don't grab, go for it as much as like my other ones, like that um, that hangover one. I really go for this time of year because it's summer, but you wouldn't think so because it's like raining all the time. But it's still humid, so it's nice to have a bit of moisture. So I'm using that. This is not first impressions. I've had this for about a year. Well, less than a year actually, but I've had this for a while, so it's not first impression. My actual first impression is the Wet n Wild. It's called the Photo Photo Focus Foundation, and I got it in soft beige because I wanted to get it in like for um for when I fake tan. And I've not used this. I've not tested it. I don't know anything. I like the applicator. I like that it's like that um i can already tell this is too dark, dark for me but this was for fake tanning so i like how it does go on because there's no sponge like the whole product's going on i'm literally just putting it everywhere because I don't know what kind of coverage. I am gonna go in with this because um, I just think it's more full coverage when I do this. I think that's very nice, but I am gonna put a bit more on because it's quite a light coverage and I don't think, it's quite a light foundation, like the form is quite light, it's not very, it's not thick or anything like that. Um, it's nice for the summer because it's so lightweight and obviously if you're in a hot country, it's just nice, it's a very nice foundation. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like a full day of it for today, but I will try it again. So I do really like this, it's really nice. Now I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Concealer. And I'm just using this because I've only used it once, so. And actually I might just use a sponge. So this is just my Royal Techniques one. Mm. 
I really do like that foundation. I literally put a little bit on and it's done a really good job. I'm not too sure if I still like this. This is definitely not a best version I have used before and I did like it, but for some reason I'm not liking it. It's just like, it's completely rinsed out and it's just not, it's just not blending as it used to. I don't know. It might just be like me having an off day, I don't know. So, for, so I've done my foundation and my concealer. So for powder, I am actually gonna try the Fenty Beauty one in lavender, and I did get this because, um, what's her name? Jacqueline Hill recommended it, so I did get it on that bias, and And it smells really nice. I actually did think, I, I think I mentioned this before, I did think it was gonna smell like lavender. And I'm not the hugest lavender fan. Like the smell just makes me think of like um, an older, more mature person, but it's really nice. It's like a, it's just like a nice scent, but that's my opinion. So I just put it all over, like my under my eye. Put it on my chin and my forehead. I don't like to put it everywhere because I'm not about that. It doesn't feel right to put it everywhere. Now, for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using this. It is the Blood Sugar and it is the first time I've ever seen it in real life. I've been to the Morphe store and I was ages ago and I can't even remember if I've seen it or not. And this is what it looks like. I'm trying not to get the mirror in, and that is what it looks like. It is so beautiful, and it feels so luxurious. The box it is lovely. Um, I did get the blue blooded one as well, so hopefully I will be doing a first impressions on that as well. So this actually scares me because I don't want. Obviously, I've done the face first, so I don't want to get everything um everywhere. So I am gonna go in slowly but surely. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill J Hedge 30 brush, which is just like a nice, um, fluffy, big brush. And I'm gonna go in with Cake Mix, which is like a nice, um, just neutral shade. I don't know what kind of pickup it's gonna have, I don't know anything. So that is Cake Mix. It's just a nice crease shade. It is lovely, not love, very nice, very pigmented, um, very blendable. I really do like that. Um, see, I don't know what shade I should do. I think I'm gonna go in with Cherry Soda, which is quite a, it's like a red color. And I'm gonna go in just a bit at a time because I am very scared of this palette, as I will keep saying throughout the whole video because I just am very scared. So I'm gonna actually gonna go in with this Jeffree Star one and it is the JS6. So it's this is one here. It's, it looks like it's gonna pack on a bit more like where you want it to go. Yeah. So you're getting the pigment.
I'm actually gonna go all over my head just because it's easier for me. Right, I feel like the colour in this is beautiful, it is lovely. Um, that cherry soda is so pigmented and I really had to quite blend it because that was just, I'm not comfortable, like I'm not used to these kind of shades, which I'm trying to get used to because they are so beautiful. But they're so lovely and blended and they are lovely. I do want to darken up a little bit But just a little bit, so I'm just gonna go in very lightly with Fresh Meat, which is the one next to it. Just in my crease. Now, I'm going to go in with a shimmer and I'm going to go in with sweetener, 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 which is this shade here, which is that shade there. And I'm just going to use, I was going to use Donut because it's that beautiful shade, but I think sweetener has got such a nice, so many colours in there that would be so nice together so i thought i was really gonna go in with my finger with the same shade just for the very center of it because i want it to look very like not glittery just very stand out and i've blended it so much that it kind of all blends together and like, i'm not I'm, wasn't looking for that so i just want to see if it's any different keep looking down that's where my mirror is and it's probably not good If you can see it already, it just stands out so much better. Right, so for my sort of first impressions for mascara is the new That Damn Girl by Too Faced. It looks like this. It looks like that anyway. You're probably all seeing it, and it looks like this. And to me, it's looking clumpy, like the old one. But I want to go in with an open mind because I do really like the um, Better Than Sex mascara because it is just so nice. You just gotta get over the clumpiness. is so lovely um i didn't really have to work with it at all normally i have to sort of be patient with it but i wasn't so uh, it wasn't that i wasn't patient it was just i didn't need to be patient so i'm gonna jump off camera and i'm gonna do my brows and my lashes and my brows are actually tinted at the moment i haven't pre-done them and i'm not sure how i'm feeling about that so about them tinted not anything else so i will jump off and i'll see you in a second I'm back and it took me ages to do this. I'm really gonna try not to move too much because this eyelash, if 
false eyelashes it's not sticking for some reason it's taking like a good 10 15 minutes so that's why this one seems a bit more up because they're not actually stuck on where this the, the eyelashes i've used i'm not using again because it just won't stick and they're not doing what i say like this one's peeling off there and it's just a hot mess and i think you need eyelashes i think it looks nice so <sighs> never again now i'm gonna go in with the face and i'm actually gonna go in with bronzer and i'm gonna go in with a new morphe one i finally got it when it was re-released and i went in with the iconic icon icon sorry i've gone into this one and i just wanted to try because people say that it's meant to be like the um Omega bronzer by um, Marc Jacobs and I'm thinking well if it is and I've just wasted like 60, 70 quid Today I'm going to use a bit more bronzer than I would normally just because I feel so pale and having dark hair does not help when you're pale so I'm going to go a little bit higher handed but still blend. I'm just, just want to do a little something. Now I'm going to go with the Natural Collection blush in Melbourne, Peach Melbourne and this I've used since high school. I will never part with it. I think it's a beautiful blush. For all types of skin tones, for all types of people, I just think it's beautiful. Now I'm actually going to go with a blush brush, which is this one here. Now I'm going to go in with highlighter and I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution. I know it's called just Revolution now, but it's Makeup Revolution Sophie X. And these look so beautiful. I think I have actually used them in a, in a um, video before, but I just wanted to try them again. And I'm just going to go in with my old trusty, which is the Morphe M510, M510, the M50. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M510. Got them in the end. Now, I don't know what shade I want to go with. I kind of want a cute highlight, so I don't. I think I might mix these two because they might. They look like they'd be good together. Now is the final bit, it is the lips and the thing the thing the lip product I'm gonna use today is an oldie kind of it's the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Calabasas and it was his summer collection last year I think and I love that it's that kind of doe foot because it just really contours into your lips. That's why I'm not using a lip liner today which probably is a bit risky but we'll just go with it. Right, to me that's looking a bit dark, like the whole thing's looking very dark. So I am gonna go in with the Morphe liquid, sorry, the Morphe lip gloss in Flower Crown. 
I just feel like it gives it a little bit something something and yes it has stained my wand so I'm going to clean it before I put it back in the applicator obviously because it's going to contaminate everything so I am going to come back with hair and makeup when my makeup done my hair hopefully my lashes will stay we'll see so this is my finished makeup look um I hope you enjoy it my hair is very like fly away because I just washed it, it's just not sticking to where I want where I want it to stick. So excuse me for this. I really hope you enjoyed my makeup video. Um I will leave in the description box what I absolutely think of these products. I do really like them. I need to play with the Jeffree Star um blood sugar palette a bit more because there's so many colours in it that you can't just like think, oh, this is just a red, this is literally everything it's got everything in there so like you can't just do one look you would do loads of looks with it so i really do need to play around with that the bronzer i do really like i think i need to play around. i think i need to play around with that one as well because it is so nice um i love this this is not a first impression but i do love this this is beautiful i literally just use these two colors but they're so nice and i'm gonna try and use the other ones as well because they are very standout ish Mascara, Ben, um, not Ben and Sex. Damn girl, yeah, damn girl, love it. I think it's beautiful. It is just your typical two face mascara. It's just amazing. Um, I really, really like that. And yeah, um, I hope you like this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.